Again, with that extreme weather in the West, record breaking heat has put eight states under high alert once again today. Those temperatures have fueled fires across the region. Will Carr is in Doyle, California, devastated by their second fire in eight months. Good morning, Will. And good morning, George. All of this damage comes on the heels of California's third heat wave in just a short amount of time. We're talking about dangerous, record setting heat. The people who live in this community had to run for their lives as the flames came through and burned their homes and their cars. And the really bad news is that this fire season still has a long way to go. This morning, the West is burning. At least 47 uncontained wildfires exploding across the region as 18 million people across the West Coast are under a heat alert. In Southern Oregon, the bootleg fire scorching more than 150,000 acres. And overnight in California, mandatory evacuations near Mariposa County. The winds driving the river fire to 4,000 acres. To the north, dozens of homes destroyed in Doyle, California. Fragments of foundations identifiable in the debris and these cars scorched. The town is now home to the largest fire in the state this year. The Beckworth complex fire scorching more than 86,000 acres. This blast of erratic winds billowing smoke through the sky, those nearby scrambling for cover. Firefighters working around the clock to stop the spread, but it's a taxing job. When it comes to wildfires, especially with this heat, what's your biggest concern? Heat exposure and not having enough resources because you can fight fire for so long in this heat, but then you have to get some rehabilitation. Veteran firefighters tell me that these conditions are perfect for another historic fire season. And typically in recent years, we've seen fires last all the way up until December here in California. Cecilia. Such a frightening prospect. OK, well, thank you so much. Let's go right to Ginger with a look at the forecast and whether those western states can expect any relief anytime soon. Good morning, Ginger. Unfortunately, the answer, Cecilia, is no. 117 all-time record tied in Las Vegas over the weekend. 130 in Death Valley, all under this heat dome that is stubborn. It is not going to release. It won't be all-time, but it'll still be very hot. And on top of this, any monsoon moisture that tries to make it up and make a thunderstorm is evaporating before it gets to the ground. So a lot of these don't even get rain, but they do have dry lightning, which starts more wildfires. Drought, big problem in the West. 93% of the West is in some level of drought. Utah, for example. Nearly two-thirds of that state is in the highest level of drought. 117 was reached over the weekend in, in Lake George, uh, St. George, excuse me. And that is the hottest temperature the state of Utah has ever seen. Amy, each degree of heat makes evaporation happen even quicker. As our globe warms, we're going to see more intense drought. Well, we know you're going to keep us up to date on all of that as always. Ginger, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.